Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. Today we are doing an abs workout. We're gonna be really working on the obliques. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe for more workouts and healthy fitness tips with me. Um, and don't forget to leave a comment letting me know how you found this workout. Maybe even try it with a friend. Okay, ready? Let's go. Call me silly, but I'm quite excited for this one. It's a great workout. So we're going to be starting off with the first move, which is side sit-ups. For this move, you want to be lying flat on your back, shoulders flat to the mat, and with your knees bent and turned to your side. Are you ready? Let's go. So feeling that torsion in the waist, you want to sit up, keeping the knees turned out to the side, shoulders flat on the ground, and try and raise them up as high as you can go. Careful not to hunch though, make sure that you keep your neck nice and long and relaxed and use your hands to support the weight of your head. Really using the obliques to raise up the upper body, trying to get uh, the shoulders off the mat if you can. I know it can feel a little bit awkward at first, but once you get into the feel of it, it is a great one. I love this exercise so, so much. Just a few more, you're doing really well. Lift as high as you can, neck nice and long and relaxed and rest. 10 seconds rest and we're moving on to the next exercise which is the side plank pulse. So coming up into a side plank position, working the same side that you just did with the sit-ups and go. So elbow below your shoulder, body nice and straight from your head to your toes. You want to pulse up, really using the obliques to lift the hips up, keeping one hip stacked on top of the other. Try not to fall forward, try not to fall backwards, pivoting at the ankles. You're doing really well. Now this one too can feel a little bit awkward, but keep with it, find your balance. And um, you will also feel it in your arms. It's a great arm toning uh, exercise because you are taking quite a bit of weight in that arm on the floor, but you're doing really well. Really contract those obliques, breathing as you go, keep nice and long and relax for 10 seconds. Then we're switching it to the other side. So we're going back in with the side sit-ups. Ready? Let's go, knees out to the side, lifting up the upper body, really feeling that contraction, finding your balance, finding your position, opening up the chest, elbows nice and wide apart, hands supporting the weight of your head so that your neck can stay long and relaxed. I don't want any hunching, feeling that torsion in the waist, keeping the hips nice and stable, raising up as high as you can. I know it's difficult, but just try and get those shoulders off the mat as you crunch up towards your legs. Just a few more, you're doing really well. Can you feel that there? Can you feel it? I can feel it. Just a few more. And relax for 10 seconds. Then we are coming onto our side for more side plank pulses. Using uh, the side that we've just done the sit-ups on. Ready, let's go. Dip the hips down, pick them up, really pushing up towards the sky. You should have your body in a straight line from your chin to your hips to your ankles. Um, that's what you want to aim for as you come up. Taking the weight in that front arm, elbow below shoulder, legs nice and straight hinging at the ankles. You can put your hands on your hips wherever it's comfortable. But just make sure you are lifting up those hips, not falling forwards, not falling back. One hip stacked on top of the other. Doing really well, just a few more. And relax, well done. Next, we are going into a favorite exercise of mine, crossovers. For this exercise, you want to balance on uh, your hips, lift your legs up to a 45 degree angle and go. Switching one leg on top of the other, making like a C shape as they cross over. So your ankles crossing over each other. Keep your head nice and lifted, elbows wide apart. If you are a beginner, you can definitely put your upper body on the mat. So lying flat on the mat, but keeping your legs raised at a 45 degree angle. This is a very challenging move so don't be afraid to lie your back flat on the mat and still do the same movement with the legs at a 45 degree angle from the floor well then just a few more really holding that pose nice and relaxed in the upper body and relax 10 seconds rest and we're going to set up for our last move hammer sit-ups we are hammering away at those abs 
lying on the back, legs straight up in the air and go. I want you to come up side to side. You can really put your elbows together, still supporting the head and still not getting a tense neck, keeping it nice and long, but we are crunching over the legs on each side, really twisting at the waist, keeping those legs nice and straight, nice and high up in the air. You want to get a good range of movement, but I don't want that booty moving. We are isolating the movements in the upper body, picking the shoulders up off the mat. I don't want you to be dragging yourself across the mat. Get some height on it as well. Just a few more doing really well. The last exercise of this whole workout. You can do it. Give it your best. Just a few more and relax. Well done. You've completed this workout. You've done really well. Don't forget to stretch out your lower back, listen to your body. Thanks for waking up with me. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.